Hiya, just wanted to make a quick video real quick to go over this uh, idea of how you use the staff solution for those of you who miss lab and don't have uh, TA to ask questions. So uh, the issue that some students had was trying to actually use t1.tbl. Where does it go? Uh, and so what I'm going to do is create that file on my computer here, t1.tbl. Uh, oops, I want to copy the information. It's supposed to go in it. So I'm going to grab this info from the lab. All right pasted it, and now it's in this file. Now this file is currently on my own computer, uh, so I want to get it onto the instructional computers. And if you're using Git Bash or Mac OS, it should be something pretty similar. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to show the example. Jeez, one sec. All right. Uh, show how I can use this. So I'll do this. Uh, and in my case, since I am me, I'm, uh, I don't have a login. You'll do like AWE or whatever. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try SCPing. I say yes, and it transfers the file ideally. Okay, uh, so now I'm gonna SSH into cs61b at ashby.cs.berkeley.edu. Uh, and now that I've done this, because I copied the file, t1.tbl is waiting for me, and I do staff project two, uh, and I can now do load t1, and it'll work fine. Now the important thing, oops, uh, the important thing is that you make sure that your code, that you're trying to run the staff project on uh, the instructional machines, uh, not your own computer. So the way you can tell is if it says Ashby, you know you're logged in, or if it says whatever other machine you're logged into, then you know. If it looks like your normal prompt, then it's your computer. And obviously, in that case, it won't work since you don't have the copy. Uh, now, if you actually have trouble with SCP, uh, definitely post on Piazza, and we'll help you out. But that's the basic scoop. Uh, hope that helps.